my channel, it's your girl Princess Renny here, and I hope you're doing this well. Huh? I'm say, okay, rewind. Hi guys, it's your girl Princess Renny here, and I hope you're doing well. On this channel, we talk about Christian faith, lifestyle, as well as natural hair. And today is an update lifestyle video. I've been gone for quite a while. I know there's been a lot going on in my life. Some of you guys, if you follow me on Instagram, you've been able to follow along with the journey just a little bit. But here on YouTube, I'm going to give you guys a little bit more of a rundown of where I've been, what I've been up to, updates in my life, things like that, you know? So stay tuned. <laughs> Hi guys, so I know it's been a while since we've like checked in. It's been really real. Um, this pandemic has definitely been a roller coaster ride for myself. I just want to thank God that I haven't gotten the virus, but it's definitely been um it's been tough to be honest, like being stuck in your home, um, teaching remotely not being able to go outside, not being able to travel as much in the previous year that I feel like this year I kind of came back with a vengeance and I was like, I'm going to be outside. I'm going outside. Like, I'm doing stuff. <laughs> you know? So, um, I've been gone for quite a while because I've just been living, to be honest. Like, exploring, traveling, trying different things. Um, so in February, I went to Aruba, which is one place that was on my bucket list. It's also on my vision board for this year. Definitely wanted to visit Aruba. Um, and it happened. And I'm so grateful to God because even though Aruba wasn't completely open, there were still so many things to do. It was so much fun. Um, I went with a group of friends and we just explored Aruba and found we actually met a lot of people that were from the US that were also traveling at the same time. So we'll do a quick recap. But I know you guys are looking for an Aruba vlog update video, which is gonna come your way very soon. But yeah, so I went to Aruba and then. Um, that was in March, and then April was kind of like low-key, like planning out some things. I got my LLC business license April 23rd. Yes, your girl is a business owner. I've been holding on to this for so long. Um, my boutique, Chateau de Rennie Boutique, um, is, yes, an LLC. <laughs> It's so weird and so, it's so surreal to like say that I'm a business owner, like, what but yeah so I had my LLC in April I've been doing a lot of research trying to get merged trying to make try to schedule different meetings with um, vendors and things like that which leads me all the way up to June when I went to LA so I was on my summer break for my job and I went to LA to visit a few vendors a few um, people in the fashion district just to see what I'll be getting and different companies I would like to work and collaborate with so that I know okay this is definitely something I want to have in my boutique or I'll pass on that uh, because it's different when you're like purchasing an item online and you don't get to feel it you don't know exactly what you're getting and you don't know the vendor so you don't know if you can trust everything that they're sending you so i was really grateful for that experience and on top of that i was able to meet a lot of people in la because when we went la was fully open so we were just in time for juneteenth um and then we got there the week that la opened like the day after they opened which was just like so amazing but yeah traveled a lot ate a lot of really good food and all that stuff so i'm just gonna show you my la stuff right here so after going to la um i came back and decided that i wanted to celebrate my birthday and yes i know it's my 25th yes it's a milestone birthday but i was going back and forth between like wanting something low key and wanting to do something extravagant but decided to collaborate my boutique launch along with my birthday party and it was so stressful like to say the least like i was stressed for a month lost 10 pounds trying to put everything together because your girl wanted the decor to be nice i wanted a big haul um i invited a lot of people but unfortunately things came up didn't have as many as i was anticipating but i'm still so grateful to everyone that came out and showed support and helped me in any way like i had the best decor team had the best photography teams 
because a lot of people take pictures. Um, I had like the best food, like just everything came out so nice. And of course, because I was also collaborating um, my birthday along with the boutique launch, I had the best models, hand down, like hands down, okay? Like, they came out, they had fun with it, they showcased my items, like, it was so much fun walking on the runway for a little fashion show as part of my boutique launch. And yeah, I'm going to show you guys a snippet of like what it looks like. But if you want to see the whole video and the rundown, all the planning and all that stuff, yes, there's a video coming out just for you, so stay tuned. Like I said, there's been a lot going on. And then that's just like my personal life with my boutique and traveling and all those things. But like mentally, spiritually, emotionally, like financially, there's been a lot going on as well. Um, and I think there's some parts of it where it's like financially, I definitely want to just cover a video in regards to like my boutique and like going to the bank and like trying to get a business bank account and like all those things. Like, yeah, it's no joke. So like. I will definitely dedicate a video to that if you guys want to see it. Like, just let me know in the comments everything that I'm mentioning. If you're really looking forward to seeing something, just let me know because I'm back. I'm back on YouTube. I'm excited to be back. I have so many ideas, so many videos that I've already recorded, and so many that I still have yet to record that I just need to put out. Um, with that being said, though, um, I guess I can talk about this part where it's like, I've been working remotely for about a year and six months or something along those lines. It's been a while, okay? I've been working remotely um, since March of 2020 into um, the end of May uh, 2021. And it was so tough, like, trying to get into the groove of like, okay, I'm a teacher, that's on Zoom. <laughs> I'm a Zoom teacher. But not only that, so the child is up and like they're getting on the computer. Like there's so many other aspects of like teaching remotely that you wouldn't really experience in person. Um, and I know one of my friends really want me to like go through the motions and like go through everything um, that I've done remotely just so you guys kind of understand what that world looks like because it's so much more different, so much harder to be honest. Um, so that's another video that I definitely will try to have out for you guys but mentally emotionally it's been a lot it's been like a roller coaster ride especially this previous year um this previous school year because going into march of 2020 the scholars that i had in my class were my first graders and we didn't get to end off the year together and then before i knew it the following year now they're second graders um i was teaching fourth grade and these fourth graders are the ones that would have been graduating first from our school and i just built such a bond with these fourth graders with my co-teacher they built such great, great relationships with each other remotely mind you and so like it was an emotional toll on me because half of these kids that like i've gotten to know and love i've never met and a majority of them haven't met until like the last week of school like in person so it was so, it was bittersweet saying goodbye or like see you soon, hopefully. Um, but like that was a lot of me because I realized like how important and impactful um, people are to your lives. Like I knew people were important, but it just showed like these kids would stay on Zoom and like play video games with each other and like just try to find ways to invite their teachers and stuff. And that for me was heartwarming because kids were finding ways to cope with what's going on in our world and that made me feel more empowered because if they can do it like I can do it too so um I kind of just went through that and I was okay whatever happens in this new school year like I'm just gonna push through and have that mentality but now your girl is back at work I've already launched my boutique um, of course, recently celebrated my birthday. I have so many pictures, videos, content that I'm just supposed to like continue to organize and get out. Um, but on top of that, I am also still in grad school. <sighs> March of 2021, when I went to Aruba, I wanted to really enjoy my trip. 
like I wanted to really focus on my trip so I was like I'm gonna finish all my assignments ahead of time so I can focus on this trip and then just you know get back to work and just not have to worry about assignments from class but unfortunately it didn't work out like that I was doing assignments on the trip and trying to also have fun it was just like a lot for me I tried to reach out to the professor the Wi-Fi wasn't the best I got the lowest grade that I've ever gotten ever in my <laughs> undergrad and um, you know postgrad career and like I didn't fail the class which I'm grateful for um, but you needed to get a certain grade point average for the class to qualify you for the program that I'm in and also for my recommendation for what I want to do later on. So in case you guys don't know, I am um, currently getting my certification and my degree, um, my master's degree in special education for grades 1 through 6 because I just fell in love with teaching and it's something that I, I want to continue doing. For however long God wants me to do it, I'm just like, I'll be a vessel, I'll do what you want me to do. Um, but yeah, I'm getting my master's degree and it is hard. Um, and even though I was only taking one class during that time, I felt like I needed that chunk of time to like really decompress and like focus on self-care, which unfortunately I wasn't able to do. So I did get my assignments in, like I haven't missed any assignments. Um, were they always on time? No. Were they always my absolute best? No, definitely not, but um, my absolute or my mediocre may be great to professors because I've been doing English ELA writing for so long, not saying I'm the best, but I kind of know how to finesse my way through a paper. So I'm grateful that I've received good grades on those things, but because of the timeliness um, or lack thereof, um, as well as me just not advocating for myself um i didn't get the best grade for that class and in hindsight like maybe i should have taken a break but of course my program doesn't allow that um and you know we had a, a pandemic on top of us there's just so much going on with family and just make sure everyone's good everyone's safe everyone's healthy um so it, it took a toll on me and i wasn't able to perform my best in the last semester but your girl this summer semester was taking two classes and so wait on my other grade, but I got an A in the first one and I think I got an A in the second one. Like, listen, that, that's my level. That's what I need to get, okay? So I'm celebrating that victory and I know I'm going to retake that other class in conjunction with my final class, this final semester of my post-grad career to get my master's degree. And it's so, again, surreal because, yo, I really did a two-year program in the middle of a pandemic like what so yeah rude, rude um lost my train of thought yes so in the middle of a pandemic working on my master's degree on top of all the other things that I'm doing guys and of course I'm back at work in person now and I'm the only teacher <laughs> in the classroom I love these kids so much like I love what I do um, a lot of people say they love their job I wouldn't say I love my job I love what I do and I love that it includes kids because I love kids um, yeah so it's just it's great I look forward to going to work and seeing kids not necessarily the adults which I mean I get along with my coworkers, but of course you know I signed up to teach kids and be with kids um, and help them be ready to like create a better future not only for like us because like you know when we get older we're like oh we want the younger ones to make a better future you know, like to make a better future for themselves um because this world is going to be there soon so i didn't mean for this to be cheesy and bittersweet but i just wanted to give you guys an update on like everything that i've been doing i'm going to try to put videos in between so you guys can kind of see like what's been going on because it's a lot that's been going on but um, I'm excited for like where God is taking me. I'm excited to show you guys my vision board next year when everything's like done uh, Because there's been some things that I've like accomplished. I'm like taking a peek at it right now Like a lot of things that I've accomplished so far But yet so many more to go and We're gonna get there with the grace of God 
I still want to get back into my Christian videos. I still want to get back into educating others on like career things, hair things, lifestyle things, you know, all that. Um, I just want to really have fun with this channel because at the end of the day, like I also love doing this. I love sitting in front of the camera and just speaking to you guys and like whether it's about me or just anything, like just sitting and talking. It's like I am literally in my living room or like any part of my house depending on where I'm filming and having a conversation with a friend. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little update. I hope you guys are excited for some things that are going on in my life. And please share some things that's also going on in your life because I want to celebrate and be really excited right along with you. Thanks for watching. As always, be blessed, spread love, and stay beautiful inside and out. Until next time. Bye, guys. <laughs> ah, do you like my makeup look? Ooh, and this shirt. Mm -hmm.